Hello. This is the part two of the drawing cricket. Um, if you haven't done the part one drawing, then I recommend going to the link, which is going to be in the description. Now, in the part two, um, we're going to start doing the background. Like, if you watch the part one already and you're, like, ready to do this, um, like, I did run out of time, but I hope that doesn't happen again this time, so I'm going to try to make it as fast as possible. I did sound pretty weird in the other one. I think it was on some mode or something, but, um, let's get started. First, um, if you want, you can, um, check on the other parts, like, if you miss something. <laughs> Because I did, like, add some things to here, if you can spot the difference. But, um, just go right now and add things, like, because some things I forgot to add in the part one tutorial. So you can just go ahead and just, like, color in maybe spots that you forgot to color in, or it's, like, not dark enough. I'm just coloring the head again because I didn't find it dark enough. And you can't really see it in the camera, but now you can a little bit. But now we're just going to just work on the background as I started to in the part one. Um, I, I didn't mention, I might have mentioned, but uh, you can use the background um, hexagon, like, thingies, or, are they hexagons? Yes, hexagons, thingies, you can use a pencil or a different color or something. Now, I'm gonna use a different color, I kinda changed my mind, but you can, like, do that now. If you just put both colors and blend them, I bet that would look pretty good, but I've never tried it before. But just, you can go ahead and do any of that stuff, but if you don't want it and you've got everything under control, you can skip over this part. If any of you even watched the tutorial for doing the part one, um, it did take a long time to load, but I actually made it, like, a few weeks ago, but for some reason it just took a really long time to load, and, like, it kept failing, but yeah, but be sure to check out other videos that I made. I've been attaching lots of Wings of Fire, um, tribe headshot tutorials, like, sea wings, um, rain wings and all that stuff now the reason i'm not able to do those gaming videos or like that like gaming or like computer stuff is because um i like i'm not exactly sure how like people on the internet do like kind of like a screen video now like i'll probably mention that in this description if you like if any of you n that's watching this know how to do it then like please tell me because I still haven't figured out how to do it yet okay once you do all of that stuff where you fix up everything we're just going to keep doing that hexagon stuff say thanks a lot for all the people that have been actually watching my videos i didn't really expect anybody to like really watch them except like my friends and family but i'm really happy that i actually got over 40 views so thanks a lot for people that watch my videos let's hope to keep that up Hexagons where um, it doesn't show the entire thing might be a little tricky. Like if you look here, I did make a really weird non-hexagon looking thing.
I might um come often, like put up the my hand up to the camera or something just to see if like I'm not in the way or like if my like camera shifted or something. But my paper won't shift this time because I taped it into place. Well, I hope it won't shift it. Okay, now once you have that done, um, you might, if you like, if you really want to check off, you can like probably go to my other video, or like maybe look at the cover of the book if you have it, or like at least look it up like on the internet, but because like I might have missed some stuff, whoopsie, so um, I am like looking at my previous picture because it's on the back so I can't really see it right now just in the video which is in the link you can just look at that and do it now in case I you know forgot anything but um, once we're done that we're just gonna color in those hexagons just like color it all in like if we do this with pastels or like if you are experimenting and you like want to do with pastels or markers or that kind of stuff then um you can like i bet if you did pastels and you smudged them together with the gold and the yellowish orange then i bet it look really cool if any of you actually did that um i'd like to hear what how it worked but that's just my idea maybe it'll work maybe it won't but I recommend just using these pencil crayons. Now, um, a lot of my videos, I, um, I did it on the computer. Well, not exactly on the computer. Well, like, on Art Academy, it says that, like, in the front when, like, most of my videos are starting. Well, that's just a game called Art Academy. You get lessons, you can do free playing, and you can, like, upload them onto YouTube. That's how I did most of my videos. But, like, all that stuff is, like, in the bottom of the video if you scroll down. But I really recommend it. But um, it might be a little hard to do. I'm not exactly sure if they do it on the Nintendo. But um, they definitely do it on the Wii U. Now, I was lucky enough to get a Wii U. Like, on the side of the street, somebody, like, threw away. But you probably can't really purchase any more Wii U's. But I'm just saying, maybe, maybe they still sell it on the Nintendo. I'm not really sure. But if you do have a Wii U, like, if you started doing Nintendo, like, stuff, like, a long time ago, before, like, the Wii U got expired, or, like, they stopped making them, then I really recommend doing a game called Art Academy. Okay, once you've colored that in, um, if you, like, look closely, there are these strings, red strings, and then those lantern thingies with the flame silks inside, and we're gonna draw that now. Wow, it's already 27 minutes, but, um, we're just gonna do that now. So, using the red, we're going to kind of, like, make just strings going down and stuff like that down diagonal like sorry if my hand is in a really weird position i'm trying to not get my face in the camera um okay that looks really weird but we gotta go with it but once you have those like like lines, well those strings, not lines, well lines on the paper, um, you're going to take a, um, the orange and like, and just like make the lantern shapes. Well, I think, well maybe we should use gold. Well, you can use the orange or the gold, whatever you want. As I said, you can use whatever type of, like you could, you probably, maybe you're using paint, maybe you're using a pastel, well, like, I'm using pencil crayons because I tried it and it works well. But, um, so you can just do whatever you want. Like, maybe you want to use the black or the red. I don't care. You can do it. Because it's your art.
Okay, you're probably not able to see that really well. They're in pretty weird shapes right now. But um, once you do that, you're gonna do like a kind of like honeycomb like shape. Now I didn't really do it that well in the picture for my part one. I didn't really do that. But like I looked really close and it actually has like a honeycomb like pattern. So like kind of like crisscross. Um, I wish I could show you, but unfortunately I can't zoom in more. Now, um, I've decided that I'm probably going to make, like, a tutorial on other poses like this. Uh, if, like, any of you want certain ones and you can do that, then you can ask me to do that. But, um, I've been, like, working on those a lot, other than just the headshots. Uh, but, um, I'm probably going to make a, a video on, like, doing a full body really soon. Because it's probably going to be really hard if you're not very good at drawing and you don't know how to do a body. I kind of showed how to do the body in the part one, so if you're not exactly sure about that, maybe you want to go over it again, or like maybe next time you don't really remember on how to do the full body, and like maybe you're watching this like a second after I post it, and I didn't post the full body yet, I'm not sure when I'll post it, then um, you, you can probably just go to this video, because I do like talk about a lot of stuff on doing the full body like you gotta put it up in a bunch of ovals so it's easier okay enough talking now you're gonna kind of like color it in with the gold i hope you guys don't hear anything in my background you might have heard my brother talking Okay, once you um, colored it in with the gold, I should have said that before we did it. Um, like, if you colored in your background of the honeycombs really dark, then maybe you don't have to go over it with orange, but I'm going to do it. And, you know, if you have pastels you're using, you're taking a risk and you're using pastels, then, yeah, I probably recommend doing that so you can smudge it all together. In a lot of my videos for Art Academy, when, like, it does show the media of the paintbrush or pastel or something, but if it doesn't show the color beside, it means that, like, I don't have any paint on it, so, and I usually just use it for smudging, and it actually smudges really well, because there aren't any, um, there's a smudge stick, but for painting, they don't really have a special smudging tool. I don't think anybody invented a smudging tool. For painting, maybe somebody did, but um, in Art Academy, I do um, just use um, a paintbrush without any paint. Okay, I just pressed some weird button. Whatever. I hope that didn't change the video. Oh great, it's still running. Good. But once you do that, wow, 43 minutes. I mean, 13 minutes. I'm getting this wrong. 13 minutes. But that's basically it, most of it. Now, if you just want to go back and, like, do some highlights and stuff, I did um, forget in the wings to, um, you could shade some light gray in, but um, I didn't exactly say that on my first, on my part one tutorial. I don't know why I didn't, but um, I might have. Well, I just can't see it properly, but yeah, like, I recommend doing that, which I'm going to do right now, but yeah, not only for the wings, you're just going to do all the highlights and stuff, maybe you want to, like, do more of a sketch, maybe you, like, you didn't color enough, and you, like, want the color darker, I'm probably going to color the underbelly more, what my, whatever, um, but you can just do that now, maybe you want to add to the background, and that's basically it, so... Maybe I'll talk about some things while doing this. Well, so, 
for my gaming videos, which like you know, I don't know how to do because it's a streaming video thing. Um, I I don't play many games, but I do do Art Academy and um, a lot of other like Wii U games, and I do Prodigy a lot of the um time. So I will probably post a lot of Prodigy tutorials because I have done a lot in it. But like, I probably call myself a pro for Prodigy. Okay. For the wings, you don't want to color in too much because on the drawing, it actually doesn't like show their wings as gray. Like maybe I'll just add a little orange, but that's just my experiment. I think it looks cool. So I'm just gonna do that. If you think it looks weird, you don't have to do it. I might do some weird experiments with these pencil crayons. I'm just gonna check if these pencil crayons actually smudge. Well, they kind of do. Well, that's a hack for you. All right, once you do that, um, I really hope my head's not in the way, but, oh yeah, right. I'm really sorry, but I totally forgot one of these things. Now, I, like, you don't have to do this, but I, I think it would look more realistic if you, like, paint it, like, not painted, well, if you're using paint, painted, well, color the, um, the ear part, you're probably not able to see the ear, like, part of it pink, I hope the pink stands out so you can actually see it, but, um, if you, like, look up the picture, um, which I'm gonna do now, like, it doesn't really, um, it doesn't really, like, show that, well, what am I saying? But, uh, yeah, it's actually kind of pinkish, like, not really pinkish, but kind of pinkish, and I was right. The wings are actually kind of grayish, but, okay, I'll do that now. Um, if you guys have, like, your own channel or something, and you have some tips for me in case I'm, like, doing something wrong, my tutorials probably, like, don't look as good as other people's, like, Pelagrancia or Biohazardia's, but, um, I try to make it as best as I can, so if you guys have art tips, then it would be helpful if you asked. But I did make, but, um, also one thing... If you haven't checked out the Cricut Headshot and you're not really familiar with high wings, then I recommend doing that now. But, uh, that's basically it. So you have completed Cricut. Now if I, like, take this tape off, whoops, Rainbow Loom Band in the way, then, um, we're gonna check, I'm just gonna check the back and see if I missed anything. Um, you might want to speed up this part or something, but I'm going to take this tape off. Of, well, I should have not put this tape on. It scratched off some of this drawing. Okay, so this is what it looks like. That's the ear back there. You can see that pink. And on the back side, it looks like that. Okay, maybe it's a little more gold. Nah, but, um, like, if you guys, you guys probably have, like, better eyes than me, maybe, and you, like, spot out something, then, like, do say it in the comments. Also, please like this video, or maybe subscribe. If you like it, I recommend liking it. If you want other people to easily find this tutorial, you think it's good, then please like it, then... Other people will be able to find the tutorial more easily. When I just started my channel and I tapped up something, then it would never come up because I didn't get any people watching it. So I'd be very happy if you liked and subscribed. Well, that's my video. Bye.